Want this? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make profile pics like this one. First, go to your web browser and search the player you want to use for the profile pic. Find the pic you want and wait until it stops being blurry. Hold on to it and tap Save to Photos. Now search the color you want. Wallpaper Background. Once you find the one you want, save it to Photos. Once it clears, now search color you want line PNG. This will be the border of the line that crosses the profile pic. To make sure it is a PNG, the pic you use needs to be a line with a white background. At first, but when you tap it, it should have gray and white squares in the background. Go to CapKit and make a new project with the format 1-1. One, one. Resize it if needed. Now choose Overlay, then Add, Overlay, and add your player's pick. Resize the player until you are happy. Now go to Cutout on the player, and choose Remove Background. Now make some adjustments and things to make it look cleaner. Export it and go to a light motion. Add your profile pic you just made. Resize it so that it isn't touching the a light motion watermark. Use your fingers to zoom in the project as you will need to do in this part. Go to shapes and choose circle. Go to Move and Transform, and do as shown here to move the circle to be the same size as the eye. Go to Color and Fill 2. Choose what color you want the eye to be. To make it both eyes, choose the three boxes with a plus sign on the top, and choose Duplicate Layer. Move the other eye to the player's other eye. You can also change its color. Go to Effects and choose Gaussian Blur. Strength of 50 to 85. Same thing with Other Eye. Go to Blending and Opacity and choose Linear Dodge. Now go to Effects again and choose Raise. Threshold 0. Intensity 1.50 to 3.0. Length Variable. Center Default. Export it and go back to CapKit. Add the exported product and crop it so that only the pick is showing. Copy the pick and make it an overlay. Then make it the same size 
and same place as the main pick. Go to mask and choose film strip. Do as shown here. You can make it as thick as you want. Now adjust the overlay however you want and add any effects to it. Now got to overlay and add the line PNG you saved earlier. Adjust it so it will be on the side of the overlay. You will have to copy it and make it attached as shown here. You can add PNG overlays and be creative to make it look better like this crown for example. Now export it and go back to a light motion one last time. Now add the exported pick and resize it again as before. Tap the cog wheel and make the quality 60 FPS and 4K. Screenshot this and hold on to one of the QR codes. Tap up in, in a light motion and it will take you to a light motion. Choose import when given the option and it will take you here. Hold on to the screen and do as shown here with the eyes on the left. Tap on the three boxes with a plus sign and choose copy seven layers. Now go to your edit and do the same thing with the boxes. Except choose paste seven layers. Next with each layer you pasted, scroll to the end of the edit and tap this. If you don't understand this part, I put a link to this exact thing in the description of the video. Export it and crop it in your camera roll and you're done. I'm giving away this MVAP A ESP for the first person who subscribes with proof and comments. Done.